Dragon Shinobi here, and this video is going to be a bit different because there's a problem coming up in my eyes soon. There are two games coming out fairly soon, and they come out one day after another. The games I'm talking about are Dying Light 2 and Halo Infinite. Dying Light, for those that haven't played or heard of it, is a zombie parkour game to put it in a very crude or blunt way. The first game released on January 26, 2015 and has since then captured my own and many others' interests, with many people, including myself, still playing to this very day. The game itself is something that, to me, feels like a first-person horror movie akin to Zombieland or Shaun of the Dead. The game has a great atmosphere that feels unsettling, and it gets even worse when it becomes night. But the game also has plenty of comic relief in it, so that it doesn't lose that feeling of every day could be your last, but enjoy it while it, you can. Very few, if any, zombie games feel as good to play or as horror-like in my eyes. If anybody hasn't heard yet, uh, Dying Light 2 is set to release on December 7th, 2021. In an almost separate category, we have Halo Infinite. The Halo series, if for some reason you haven't heard of Halo at this point in your life, consider me astonished, first started in Halo Combat Evolved, which released on November 15th, 2001. For me, Halo had a significant impact on the style of games I enjoy, and a lot in my imagination. The Halo series is THE flagship of Microsoft, and has a lot of hype to live up to, which is no easy task for 343 Industries to accomplish, considering how the fans have been pushing the company to make the best game they can. 343 and the fans want this game to be a game for the ages. With all the effort they have put into it, from it being delayed uh, from what I believe multiple times now, you know, to the first July Insider test flight that I had uh, gotten hands on with, and all the mystery behind the campaign that we know little to nothing about, besides the initial trailer that they have released. And Halo Infinite is set for release on December 8th, 2021. Now, you can see the storm of problems I'm seeing. With Dying Light 2 releasing on December 7th, 2021, and Halo Infinite releases on December 8th, 2021. I'm looking forward to both of these games equally. While I'm going to get one before the other, I will be experiencing both. My first problem is which game should I buy first with our dates approaching closer and closer. I have plenty of memories with Dying Light and my friends, but at the same time, there is a sp certain nostalgia factor with Halo, and, you know, I just... It's difficult for me to choose between one or the other at this point. My second issue that I see is one game will outshine the other, and I personally believe that Halo will kill Dying Light 2 in terms of sales. Now, I, I do wish the best for both of these companies, but I feel the release of these dates to be an unnecessary battle between the two. And th this is a fear that I have that will majorly affect the um, post-release content and just post-release in general for Dying Light 2. And Techland may not get the sales needed to keep their doors open to their employees. Um, and I will say now that I do not have any idea what goes on in the management side uh, really behind, you know, Dying Light 2 or Techland and all that, and what they need to get out to continue putting out the post-release content or anything like that. Yeah, you know, I do hope I'm just worried about nothing, but I can't help to not um, look at this release date uh, situation. You know, a similar event happened with Titanfall 2 when it released, and as much as I enjoy that game, I do feel it could have been better if it wasn't released between Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, I just want to state one last time that I care for both of these companies equally and wish them both the best. Nothing said in this video was a paid opinion or a paid promotion of either of any sort, kind, whatever. This is just my feelings as someone who has grown up with these games and series and I just wish to see the games do the best they can for their specific niches. 
Um, you know, these games have given me some of the best times um, with my friends of my life so far, and it would really suck to see something as hyped coming out as Dying Light 2 that I've been waiting for for years now, and just to see that turn into a pile of ashes. Thank you all for watching. I would appreciate any feedback on what game you look forward to more, and if you would like to see one game on the channel before the other, because I do plan on having both Dying Light 2 and Halo Infinite on the channel. But, you know, if you want to see one over the other, I could probably prioritize one over the other. Um, I would appreciate any feedback. I really would. Because uh, this is really a big, you know, I'm not going to say midlife crisis, but this is a dilemma for me. So, thank you for watching once again. You know, nothing, I will state it again. Nothing was, I was not paid for any of this or anything. This is just my feelings as someone who has emotions invested into both of these games and series. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.